Hello one and all, welcome back to the Chelsea FC save with me, Fruball FM. It's episode 28 today, we're going to get into the game against Arsenal, but it's a very important game because it's a title decider. Now I did say that we weren't going to play this game against Arsenal, but um, I just think it's too important to miss really. We've got this final game against Arsenal, it's the title decider. Um, I'll show you the league table, so we've got um, Premier League here. So you can see we're, we're eight points ahead of Tottenham with three games to go, so nine points up for grabs. So we need to win to secure the title today. A draw would probably be enough, but we don't want to bank on Tottenham losing the last three games. So ideally, we want to wrap up the title to get today against Arsenal. And uh, let's yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can do it then. In a cruel sort of twist of irony, the, the manager that we could actually end up winning the title against is Antonio Conte, because obviously he's the manager of Arsenal now in this save. So. That is, uh, that'll be quite a story, so hopefully we can get one over on uh, Chelsea's former boss. Right then, so this is the team we're going to go with against Arsenal. It, the team pretty much picks itself now. It's um, it's Courtois in goal. Tini and Azpilicueta as the full-backs. Delete and Christensen as the ball-playing defenders. Jorginho, Kante, Fakir as the midfield three. Azad and Willian as the wide players. And Morata up front on his own. Yeah, this has been pretty much the starting lineup for the whole season and, and we're not going to change it now. Now, Arsenal going with a really odd sort of formation. They're going with um, a 5-2-3 wing-back formation. So they've got um, three defenders. And it's interesting that um, Dendonka, who's usually a central midfield player, is in, a, in at the back. So hopefully we can exploit that. We've got Monreal and Bellerin as the wing-backs. Xhaka and Ramsey in the middle. Lozano, Firmino and Aubameyang up front. That is a pretty scary forward line, if you ask me. I'm going to ask the boys to do it for the fans. It usually works in derbies, which you think it's obviously a London derby. So the boys have looked to gain confidence and are, and are motivated. So let's get into it now. Right then, so the two teams come out in this massive game. It is a title decider. We could win the title today with a win. I just hope we can put in a really good performance. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to do as many cuts during the game because obviously it's going to be a one-game episode. We're not going to do the games against uh, Benfica in this in this episode or anything. So. Um, obviously, I want it to be a bit, you know, a bit longer. So Willian's coming forward as the first highlight gets underway. Is Albamian, Firmino, Lozano making tracks here. Is Herving Lozano? He cuts it back. Albamian, Pierre Emerick Albamian makes it one 0 to Arsenal. Arsenal have been a little bit of a thorn in our side in this save, and in particular Albamian. I know his pace has really been an issue um, over the top, so we might have to change the the push higher up kind of tactic, which I think we'll do now. We'll just go normal. And keep it on that. We've got another highlight. Dendonka. We do like to, to chase. Here's Czech. Oh, Hazard. Morata. Morata again. Two fantastic saves for, from Czech, but after an awful mistake. And then he's just sort of flapped at it. He's Hazard. Oh, he's given it away, but that was a massive chance to, to bring us on level terms. Koscielny heads, and it's 2 0. Just as quick as Lightning, Arsenal are 2 0 up. And we just haven't started this game well. I mean, by the stats, we, we actually should be winning the game. We've had one clear cut chance to their zero, but Arsenal have just stuck the two chances that they have had away and unfortunately we're 2-0 down as uh, Ramsey picks up a booking uh, and so does Hazard. I'm just going to demand more from the boys. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we don't win the title today, but ideally, obviously, I would like to have it wrapped up. Right, we win it back. Fakir over the top for Morata, who's got some pacing behind his Morata. Alvaro Morata saved again by Czech. Ah, Morata does that too often for me. He just... Doesn't finish it off when he's one on one. As uh, Arsenal bring it away, there's only Xhaka up the pitch who doesn't really have much pace. He seems to be that's a great tackle by Angolo Kante. But yeah, you know, I think it's not the end of the world. Um, I would obviously ideally not, not like to not lose the game since we've been on such a good run as well. Um, Kishelny, Monreal. Yeah, I forgot to bring you up to speed actually on the last game which we played, um, which was the game in between the FA Cup semi final and this game which was against Reading, we won 2-1, and uh, Tottenham had already won their game, so, um, yeah, Willian, Willian now, can he cut it back, cuts it back, Azad, Morata, oh, Morata again, he's, he's having a poor half, we've had so many chances and he's just fluffed a lot of them, Arsenal with another chance now, it looks like, Lozano, Ramsey, back to Lozano, who's got Akers, what a tackle, Ramsey, Bellerin, Ooh. It's almost three nil, and you know we just haven't put our chances away. Alvaro Morata has done his usual kind of crap, if I'm honest. But uh, Fakir does have it, and he is can say excellent run by Willian. He's going to cut it across. Is he? Yeah. Dendonka, what happened there? I don't know. Jorginho, Fakir, can we create again? Hazard. Willian's just been the assist machine this season. 
Can he get one in again? Morata! He does score this time. It's 2 1. If you'd put your chances away before Morata, we'd probably, probably be ahead in this game. So, Fakir to Hazard. Hazard to Kante. Knocks it down the line for Willian. Of course, it's a Willian assist in for Morata, who sticks it away with a plum. And so we're, we are approaching half time. Um, it is half time. We've probably had the better half, to be honest. It's just that. You know, Arsenal have, have put the chances away and, and Morata's fluffed hours. It's that's just football sometimes. Get into the dressing room, tell the boys, um just say assertively that we can still work win this. People have switched off, we'll say faith. Yeah, that always rectifies the situation. There we go. Um get into the second half as Morata gets us underway. Hopefully he can have a better second half than he did first in terms of in front of goal. Um as we do have a highlight straight away. Fakir Kante. Fekir. Oh, Arsenal are going to counter here, it looks like, with Bobby Firmino. One of my favourite players in real life, Bobby Firmino. Aubameyang, Lozano, cut it back, Xhaka, and it's 3-1. That's probably game, set and match there for Arsenal now. Um, Arsenal just st obviously started really well. It was a, it was a clinical counter-attack. Bobby Firmino threw for Lozano, who knocked it infield for Aubameyang. Back to Lozano. It was in acres of space. Looked uh, suspicious, suspicions of offside there, I might say. But uh, Lozano just quit back for Jacker, who was in acres of space and couldn't miss. Um, so, yeah, we do have another highlight of 55 minutes. Mustafi, Jorginho down for Hazard. Fakir. Fakir gives it away. Koscielny, Jacker, Mustafi, Jacker, Aubameyang. We just haven't had an answer to Arsenal really in this game. For me, no. I mean, that's a, a poor shot, not undeserving of a highlight, to be honest with you. Another highlight straight away after that poor Bobby Firmino shot. Bellerin, Lozano. Having Lozano now for Ramsey, Shaka. Lozano's just finding ridiculous amounts of space. There's Firmino, it's 4 1. Look at the stats, we're 4 1 up on clear cut chances, yet yeah, Arsenal have just absolutely smashed us. and. We just haven't got a reply for them. We're going to have to make a few changes. We're probably going to go more more attacking, to be honest. Probably need to watch our goal difference, in all honesty. Um, but this was always going to be a tough game. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to wrap up the title today. Uh, Fakir's having a good game. Willian's not having a great game. We're going to bring Pedro on and put him as a round doiter on the right-hand side. And I think we will bring on... As I was looking frustrated, so we can go off and bring Denis Suarez on and just see if we can actually salvage something from this game. Um, as time's just ticking away, Pedro's injured, fabulous stuff. Ah, okay, so Tammy Abraham can come on. I'm just going to stick two up top. It's going to go to a 4 2 4, to be honest. Um, I forget you can go there, swap these two guys around. As a, we'll play Kante as a box to box on support. For you can go as an inside forward on attack. And you can go on attack as well. And Abraham can go as a complete forward attack. There we go. I think we need to, um, I mean, our possession's all well and good and that, but I think we need to actually just get it up the pitch towards Tammy Abraham and Alvaro Morata towards the end here. Um, where are we at? So tactics, team instructions. I'm going to just take all these off. I'm just going to pump it. Go route one. Want to be more expressive? Well, we'll get stuck in and whatnot. We'll just go higher on overload. Look for the overlap. I don't. We don't need to do that if we're pumping it up the pitch. I don't think. Um, yeah, I think that'll do. See if that does anything towards the end of the game. We have got some tired players in there. Um, just check. Pumps it out. Aubameyang, but he loses out. Here's Kante. Ped. Uh, Fakir, sorry, no. Aya Abraham, good save by Czech. Czech's actually had a good game considering that he, he fluffed that earlier um, that earlier catch that he just sort of flapped at um, and he gave it away in defence. But we couldn't capitalise because Morat has a, a, a bit of a douchebag. So it's Bellerin, Ramsey, loads of space. Look at this Firmino, Lozano. Lozano's tormented us all game. Tini's not being able to deal with him. It's going to be five, is it? Yeah, it's Xhaka again. Granite Xhaka, it's 5-1. They haven't deserved it at all, to be honest with you. You know, two clear cut chances and they've scored five goals. It's, you know, it's just it just happens sometimes. We've had another one. Oh, now Morata's injured as well, for God's sake. Ah. 
It's just gone from bad to worse for us, isn't it? Morata just wasn't up for the challenge, to be honest. He's been taken off injured. He's, you know, I'm not sure what the injury is. Pedro's is a potential groin injury and Morata's is a potential foot injury. So that could be bad. That could see him out for the, the rest of the... I mean, Suarez was in exit the space there and Tammy everyone just couldn't um, find him. But yeah, um, we're just gonna we're obviously gonna say that was unacceptable. That was una unacceptable behaviour from the players there. Um, but yeah, reveals few free. I was I was I was furious to be honest. Um, Murata is injured for three to five weeks, so we're just gonna leave that to the physio. That's that's a bit of a blow, obviously. Oof, two to five months for Pedro. I think his contract's expiring. At the end of this, it is. So he's not gonna be getting a new contract. Seems harsh, but you know, I don't think he deserves one to be honest. Um, either he hasn't been that good. I mean, he's been all right in, in Hazard's absence, to be fair to him. But um, we're going, we are going to send him to a specialist. But he's going to be gone by the the time, you know, he's he's back from injury. So send the uh, assistant to that. And Benitez was spotted at the Emirates Stadium. Right then. So unfortunately, we haven't managed to seal the title with a win today. Um, you know, hopefully it will be sealed in our next game. But I'll just what I'll do is I'll I'll continue the game a little bit to see if to what how Tottenham do because they. Probably should be playing today as well, so we'll see how Tottenham get on. And I think I think actually if Tottenham lose their game, I think we still w might win the title. So uh, who are they playing? They're not playing today. They're playing tomorrow. So I'll I'll come back when we know the result. Right then. So Tottenham actually play a hull away from home. So we'll look at the table uh, as we can see. So we are eight points ahead. So yeah, that's seven eight points ahead um, with. If Tottenham lose or draw, I think we've won the title. So they, Tottenham have to win to keep the heat on here. Um, and Tottenham are the only team that can catch us. So let's have a look. Let's see what happens here. Hull against Tottenham. Anything less than a win for Tottenham will see us win the title. 4-0 to Everton over Reading. What is the Hull result going to be? Anything less than a win is the title, remember. Oh, Keep me waiting in anticipation the game and it's 2-2 so we've actually won the title in the most unspectacular fashion possible as um, Abel Hernandez and Jordan Ayew are the heroes for Chelsea's season this season we've uh, actually clinched the title I wonder if our news articles will tell us yeah you can see so Tottenham have only got two games left and uh, they can actually only max out a, a potential of 80 points so we've won the title yeah so we've completed the treble apparently um, what have we won? Indy doing so completed the treble. Premier Division. What have we won? What? <laughs> How have we completed a treble? What's the what's the treble? We've done. We've got the Community Shield. What else have we won? I don't think we've won anything else. We've won the title and the pre and the and the Community Shield. But what? I don't know. I, I mean, if I'm missing anything, somebody please let me know. But yeah, apparently we've done the treble without even winning three trophies. I mean, that's, that's not even really a trophy, to be honest, the Community Shield, is it? So we, we haven't done any sort of treble yet. Um, but I guess we can kind of do a, a quadruple because we've got an FA Cup final t to play. And we've also got the potentially, you know, we've got a Europa League semi-final. So we've got still got another two competitions that we could win. So whether that'll, that'll count as a quintuple? I don't know. I don't know. Or is it a pentuple? I don't know. I, I don't know anyway. But yeah, I mean, I don't know why it's saying we've won three trophies this season. It just seems odd, unless it's still counting the um, unless it's still counting the Carabao Cup from last season. I, I don't know. Anyway, so we've got quite a bit of uh, massive uh, bonuses here to be paid out, and uh, Terry John Terry has got involved. You know, um, you know, he's obviously taken some time off from. Um, you know, from from having affairs, so that's good of him to to you know declare a proud day for the fans, and the Chelsea board are happy with me, and the confidence is up to sixty four percent, so that's good. So we've won it, you know, three times now in the last in the last few years, which is good. Um, yeah, so yeah, excellent, excellent stuff. Even though we lost five one, we've managed to seal the title in the most unspectacular fashion. Uh, with a 5-1 loss and uh, actually Hull managing to draw with Tottenham which was unlikely as well but we've managed to do it I'm happy with it excellent stuff we've had a good season to be honest whatever happens now we'll have had a good season I've just noticed we're playing Arsenal in the FA Cup final so that probably doesn't board very well but we'll try our best
that brings this episode to a close anyway. I hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, I know, obviously, we got smashed 5-1 by Arsenal, but we have won the title, so that's a bonus. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you could, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, just whatever, you know, just do something. I would be most humbled. Thanks, everyone, now. Bye-bye.